I get really nervous every once in a while when you get inundated because things go in cycles in the newspaper or in magazines, right? And during some period of time, suddenly there will be all these articles about why you're not supposed to do whole life or, you know, you're supposed to do this. And it just seems that people jump on bandwagons over, you know, every once in a while and it goes through cycles and you have to, you know, re re kind of close the paper and walk away. <laughs> you, you know, Chris, you're you're absolutely right and bank on yourself my experience with it and we've been doing it for quite some time. It's not a new concept. It's been around for forever. Uh but it's it's to me the ultimate financial security blanket in both good times and bad. It's not a fad. It's something that you can use for a lifetime to build a financial, solid financial foundation. I think one of the problems is that our culture has been trained in recent decades to invest with the goal of saving. And they think that investing is the way that's going to help them save a big nest egg. And in reality, it should be the other way around. You should be saving first and have that financial foundation. I mean, 71% of all people, they recently did a survey, the American Payroll Association, found that 70% of all workers would actually, if their paycheck was delayed for just one week, they would be unable to meet their current financial obligations. So we have no foundation, financial foundation anymore. Most people just have kind of, you know, but they might have money invested in the stock market. And to me, this doesn't make sense. There's somehow, somewhere, somehow our values have gotten turned around. 